Gareth Southgate has now resigned as England manager. In his eight years, they've reached two finals and another semi-final and a quarter-final. I mean, he's been relentlessly successful. He's won more knockout games for England on his own than every single manager they've had previously combined. He's changed the mood, the culture, the players want to play. But probably what's most remarkable about that is that there seems to be some kind of debate about whether he's actually been successful or not. His best quote was... Um, I have to say that I'm involved in a sport that I love um, and an industry that at times I don't like. Which was very interesting and odd thing to come out at the time, but I kind of imagine that that's been reinforced in his mind over the years since because he transformed the team instantly. They reached a World Cup semi-final in Russia in 2018, first semi-final since 1996, and the mood was just, it was just incredible outpouring of joy. I mean, that, those were the waistcoat years. The waistcoat said, this is a serious job. The crowds at England games still carry around the cutouts of Southgate in the waistcoat because it was the happy time. He turned a team of really some of them quite mediocre players into World Cup semi-finalists. And the, the strange thing is that after that, the success continued, but the mood around him really darkened. Before long, Southgate was sort of dishing up tournament success as a, a kind of default. We reached the final in 2021 of the European Championships, a court final in Qatar, and then another final Euro 2024. And the talk through all that has been about underachievement, as though Southgate is somehow holding back this juggernaut, whereas in fact England are the biggest underachievers in world football and were before he appeared. People have taken against him because of his politics. You know, he'll, he'll be, still be known as woke gate to lots of people because he supported taking a knee as a protest against racist abuse against his players. Some people turned against Southgate because he wasn't woke enough. In fact, he's a real classic Englishman who likes to make up his own mind. One thing Southgate's departure leaves us with as a certainty is that the England manager is a very important figure in the life of the nation. And I feel very sad for him and slightly embarrassed for the country that he's had to put up with so much abuse in that time, something that's really affected him and has been unique to his reign.